What is self-love and how can I find self-love? I have received these questions many times. I realize that so many of us are struggling with this, especially people who are kind and nice. They are usually so kind to others but not really kind to themselves. Since young, they have been conditioned to give more, receive less, or do not receive at all. And I was like that too. Even when I received a simple compliment on my appearance or my achievement, I would straight away reject it and devalue my worth. It's funny, right? Because we always want to give love and spread love to others, but we forget to show love to ourselves. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you what self-love is, what happens when you start loving yourself, and how you can kickstart your self-love journey. So if you are interested, please keep on watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode. If you are new to Close Space, my name is Trin. I am a business and life strategist. I specialize in mental health, mindful living, and self-mastery. I create content weekly on this channel around those topics to help you grow while building a life that brings you happiness, purpose, and fulfillment. If you enjoy my content, do consider subscribing and click on that bell notification so you'll be notified when a new content is out every Sunday and Wednesday. So what is self-love? In a simple explanation, self-love is love and appreciation of oneself. Having self-love means accepting ourselves without any judgment, taking care of our own needs, happiness, well-being, so that we can be our best for others. And to me, self-love exists when we are comfortable and happy spending time with ourselves for a long period of time without the need to have any attention or validations from anyone. We will also have the willpower to walk away from anyone and anything that disrespects us and makes us unhappy. And why is self-love important and what happens when you start loving yourself more? Self-love is crucial for our mental well-being because we cannot pour from an empty cup. It means that we cannot be kind, help others, and take care of our loved ones if we are constantly burned out, exhausted, or abused. When you start loving yourself, you'll be less likely to experience depression and anxiety because you know how to look after yourself to avoid getting overstressed. And you also know how to draw healthy boundaries to protect your own energy and your well-being. And the more you love yourself, the less you depend on others to give you attention, validation, and love. So you become more self-reliant. And because of that, you live more authentically and you are happier. Is self-love selfish? Self-love is not selfish. It doesn't mean that we should not be kind and nice to others. It just means that we know our worth and we will not allow anyone or anything mistreat us in any way, take away our peace and compromise our well-being. I was fortunate to realize how important self-love is to my mental well-being in my early 20s. So if you are struggling to practice self-love, here are the five ways that you can use to kickstart your self-love journey. Number one, get comfortable spending time with yourself. No matter how busy you are, always set aside quality me time for yourself. It can get uncomfortable at first, but you'll get used to and you will love your own company. You can use this time to reflect, read your favorite book, listen to your favorite music, or do anything that you really love doing. This time can also be used for you to get to know yourself better so that you can increase your self-awareness. Number two, practice self-care. It is essential for us to look after our basic needs, nurture our mind and body. This includes eating healthy, sleeping enough, and exercising regularly. Creating a nourishing self-care routine will help you stay healthy and keep well. Number three, set healthy boundaries. Do you know that you don't have to say yes for everything, be it work or personal? If you feel like saying no, just say it because it feels really good. This will help you be yourself, set healthy boundaries to avoid being a people pleaser and overworking yourself. Number four, 
forgive yourself for your past mistakes. Acknowledge that we are human and mistakes do happen. It's part of life. It is okay to make mistakes. What is most important is that you learn from your past mistakes and wrong decisions so that you can do better in the future. Number five, let go of toxic people and environment. Some people and places are energy draining, and the more you stay with them, the more toxic you will become. You cannot have a positive life staying in a negative environment. So don't be afraid to leave toxic city so that you can build a better and more positive future. Instead, surround yourself with positive and good energy generating people. So those are the five ways for you to kickstart your self love journey. And always remember this: if you want others to love you the right way, you must first love yourself and treat yourself right. Let me know in the comment section below how you practice self love. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next episode.